Here's a quick video on vintage Warren Winch 5721, sometimes called 6,000 or 8,000, uh, sold previous to that under the Bellevue name. Um, my son and I recently bought a Jeep project vehicle. Came with this on it. I didn't know anything about it. Started doing some digging around and found out they're they're kind of sought after. People are paying good money for them. Um, went down the rabbit hole of looking online. Found out the biggest questions are um, where to find a motor and where to find new brake shoes. So here's what I found. As you can see, I've got a new motor on mine. If you search this number here, just put that into Google, it'll bring up a number of different vendors that sell it. Um, it is a direct replacement. It's only got the positive lead. Uh, it's power in, it's not power out, just like the original. It does not come with the brake housing or the brake hardware. So you have to keep this off your old motor. Um, but other than that, this thing amazingly completely bolts straight to the motor. Everything is correct. The bolts are the right length. Everything's good. Um, you know, the shaft extension's good. Uh, the hole for the roll pin's in the right place for the brake assembly. Um, I'm super pleased. Nice thing about it is it's uh, only a couple hundred bucks, maybe just under. Um, so it's better than, you know, 350 or whatever for a motor that you might not know if it'll fit or whatever. Um, another thing about motors, here's the old one. Um, so you can't run these things backwards. Uh, it's just not good. So if you're trying to take out cable or something, you got to make sure the motor's not engaged. What happens if it is engaged? These windings unwind. And what they do is they impact the inside. I actually pounded these back down thinking I might try to repair it, but uh, just went the new motor route. So that'll ruin your motor pretty quick. Don't do it. Okay, the other thing, the brake shoe. This is a really common brake shoe size and it's used on a lot of different applications. Go on to eBay and just search. Um, I think that's a four and a half. Um, it brings it up. There's like hundreds of options. So you don't need to get stuck paying 60 bucks from a uh, specialty shop that probably doesn't have it in stock anyways. Um, I think I got this one for under 20 and it was in stock. So, uh, you know, let eBay be your guide. Um, other things I did to this winch, it was in pretty good shape really overall, just all new bearings. Um, I went ahead and put um, oil light high pressure bearing, bearings for the bushings in here instead of plastic. I added a zerk on this side, um, replaced the seals. Um, and then let me get the fair lead over here. Out of my pile of junk. This is a stock old school uh, worn fair lead. I also put um, oil light bushings in there instead of the plastic ones, which in this one happened to be melted. Um, I found the plastic ones available for $15 a pair. So, you know, one, two, three, four. You're looking at, uh, you know, 70 bucks shipped for a bunch of plastic bushings. So I welded in solid steel plugs, um, drilled them out to one inch, because that's all you can get the OD of these in. Um, now Bob's your uncle. Anyways, hope that helps uh, anybody trying to find parts for these. Find them easier and cheaper. Good luck.